Welcome everybody to another Bones and Gary Let's Play. Today we are doing Hypercharge Unboxed, a game that is everything right in my opinion here. Uh, and you'll see I'm going to show you guys here. Let's just dive right in, alright? So you play an action figure. You get to select some stuff, for example. Uh, let's show you all some different color schemes here. Uh, you get to pick lots of different things. I always pick one of these guys because I grew up with G.I. Joe. I'm an 80s kid, as I said a billion times. Uh, actually, you'll probably pick this one here. Um, this is my favorite color scheme. Though. I love this one. And although this one, let me show you all, it has a special place to me. Uh, this one. This one. It reminds me a lot of what, like, some of the G.I. Joe figures I used to really dig. Uh, but Night Ops I dig too here, so... There are quite a few. Normally, Commando is the one I pick. Scout I started with, then. Uh, so this is a four-player game. I love that this head is named Clever Girl. t rucked and Tryhard. So let's just pick Clever Girl. And check out some of these skins. Oh, that's actually pretty wicked. Tony, Devadi, Fossil. Um, but for me, it's gotta be this. Man. I am all about uh, the GI Joe-looking character here. I just think it is awesome. Uh, now this gets a little deeper than this, guys, because you'll see here even weapon materials. So we're gonna make ours blue. But you can see that we can do quite a bit with it, actually. Um, you can pick your guns, they change the barrels, as you see here. Now, I in particular, I'm going to tell you all, uh, things that I like about this game right off the bat, frankly. Uh, I've not, I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm going to actually. But see, there are a lot of different little things you can mess with, guys. I am going to leave mine there and let you all play with that on your own. But this is one of the big strengths of this game. You'll see cost. So this is a hybrid game. It has a bit of... What's a good way to put this? I feel like it is great because it has a bit of two different genres. It's a tower defense game in a way. With these cards, you will build structures between waves of enemy. And an action first person shooter hybrid. You can have three friends join you for a four player co-op against NPC enemies. Uh, and try to survive as long as you can. It is a great game. Today we're doing some single player. Uh, and I'm going to show you this again when the next update hits. Because there's going to be even more to do in it. So this is not the final product. This is an early access. Very early access right now. But they're cranking away at stuff. So let's show you how these cards work. All right. So let's say for example. This is a shockwave turret. You will pick three playing cards, uh, and I love the way they've done these like this, that you will pick, for example, to make your arsenal out of. Um, and they each do different things. This is the cheapest one, I used it for a while. The traps are pretty good. Um, however, I will say... For a single player game, for me, my money is on trying to get a good mix of things. A healing turret you're going to need if you're playing a lot, in my experience. And an anti-air turret is amazing, um, again, if you're playing alone. And I'll show you all that soon. So let's just jump right into the game with this, shall we? Sorry that it took me a minute here, guys. We're going to start with automatic. Automatic. Max players for select game type. And we'll do online so people can drop in if they want. Now you'll see here map selection. So let's do this. Let's start with an easy one. We're going to start with this one. Um, and I'll show you all. Actually, I'll pop a few of these up here. And uh, we'll, we'll go there. So the way this game works now. Let me show you the core of this. We have our guy, you'll see these little plastic towers here, and you can even hold down Q, and you'll see they're colored. They correspond, as you'll notice, with different little sections in the floor. Green powers up green, 
two powers of blue, you get what I'm saying, red, is generally where the enemies come from. So you'll get a battery. Uh, now the first thing I'm going to want to build should probably be something to help me shoot things. So we are going to go and build ourselves a little turret here. We're going to pick this battery up. Plug it in there and you'll see on probably where my big ass head is. Normally there is a little HUD there that tells me that uh, that is powered up. So, uh, I think I'm going to put one right around here to help me nix these dudes early. So, they're going to go ahead and do that. So, there is my gun. Can't do much else right now, so we're just going to go ahead, hit F, and start. And let's be a bad mamma jamma here. Now, they will drop these playing card looking... Uh, and I love the way they've done this. They've done like this foil packaging. These are the enemy guys. Now this is a great single player board. The first toy aisle because it's a little easier and you can sort of bottleneck your enemies in. There's a lot going on at the bottom of the screen here, but you'll see they just dropped this package. So I'll hold that down and get some more points. You also notice there's a weird little bar that happened there. Look at the Toy Carnage guys, the Toy Carnage. They do great, I think, with the texture work in this game. Probably some of the best I've seen in a game like this. Now, the reason why I picked the guns I did, by the way, uh, I believe I'm using the machine gun here, is it holds a lot of ammo. So I can only imagine with four players, you guys could really get pretty deep on coordinating your defenses. You know, have a dude who does traps and healing, have a guy who... Uh, does mainly guns, you have a guy who does nothing but defenses. Uh, you could probably do quite a bit. Um, so this game really will only get better, and especially if you pick a, up a copy for your friends, or they pick up a copy, or somebody's picking a copy up, basically. You'll only get better and better with the things you can do in the game, uh, in my opinion. Now, you could probably pick this battery up here, Ultra Volt. You'll notice there's a, a lot of, uh, cover things that they're doing here, and the dogs are surrounding me right now, I don't know why. Um, and for all those of you asking me, we got quite a few questions, where have we been? Why haven't we done more Let's Plays lately? Well, we have a bunch slated, guys. Um, one thing we've done, actually, is pick up a bunch of new stuff to do Let's Plays of. Um, uh, I, we had a wedding, so, yours truly is, is, uh, we are hitched. So yeah, that happened. That happened. Um, now I promised you all too as well that we would have a, another person joining our little Let's Play family sometime soon, and I'm happy to report that that is still an ongoing thing. It will still happen. Um, so don't, don't fret, my friends. That is still coming. Uh, so that will go on there, and you will see now in the lower left, 3,000. That is my allowance for my abilities, my little, uh, my little building costs. Again, this is what you saw with the cost of things earlier. Uh, so that is where that comes into it. So here you will see I powered all three of these up. Now I'm playing with power, as Magneto says in the X-Men. I can drop another one of these here. Um, and really mow down some enemies and get some defense going. I can build an anti-air turret which I'm really going to want sometime soon. Uh, or I can build a healing station. Now, my two choices are between the healing station and this air turret, I'll be honest, guys. And I think we're going to do the healing station early, and I have a great reason for this, uh, actually. And that is that uh, one of these levels has a really sneaky enemy that is basically a Beyblade, and it is a pain in the ever-loving ass to kill and single player. Um, the worst, however, are the army men are, uh, whoa, they're tough. The army men are organized and coordinated like an army. They will drop in. Uh, by the way, kudos to the devs for making Boglins a toy, because Boglins were my jam as a kid, man. When those things came out, I owned them. If you don't know what a Boglin is, look up the commercial on YouTube. You owe it to yourself if you like retro toys to at least look up a bug one. These enemies you don't want to get close to, by the way. 
so because of that, that will hurt you to check as I get close to it. That's good. You also notice I'm not shooting these dudes out of the gate. That is because there's a small little barrier that uh, if you shoot them behind, uh, you will not get your stuff. You will not get your uh, cards. And I want all the playing cards I can get to help me up my defense allowance, to help me build extra shit. Not only can you build, you can actually upgrade, which I love as well. Um, and again, for a all access title, guys, this thing plays amazingly smooth. I don't know if there's any slowdown on uh, your end as you're watching this. I hope there's not. If there is, my bad, but I don't think there is. Let's hope not. Um, Alright, so I'm thinking I'm going to put this puppy about here. No, no, no. Anti-air turret, I'm basically going to put about here, I think. You'll see there I got 500. So you can walk up to one and see, required to upgrade. Uh, so it tells you flat out what you need to upgrade one. I like to walk around the battlefield a little as well. And this is the section I was telling you guys about. Where it is basically a no-go. You'll see here, you can't go through it. Um, so, I don't know. Are they going to adjust the sensitivity uh, of that or not? I'm not sure. I first off have to give them credit. The world they've made here is awesome. The texture work is great. Things look nice and clean. Everything looks good. Now I am on the floor here, guys, for a great reason. We're gonna mess with the video for a minute here, guys. Um, hook on some V-Sync. I normally don't do V-Sync, but I think uh, because I'm broadcasting, you guys might get some screen tear here, so I think we're gonna do that. Oh, shit. As I just told you, I hopped on the floor. I hopped off the floor. So let's hop back on the floor. Now we're dealing with the blades, baby. Get ready. Defend the core. You defend the core. Alright. No, no, it's me. But they do, again, a great job with the textures on these things, man. It's insane. I'm close up, but you're not going to see me get to yet, because I don't want to die this early. Um, you can see there that they have actually made these three friggin' pieces. They actually made them three pieces. Now, I was too old to get into the Beyblade craze. I never got into it. Um, but, I know some dudes who did, even older dudes who did, as a drinking game. I know some people who got into it just playing with uh, this stuff anyway. Because, why not? Because we could, I guess, me mess around with them and change change different things, the weight or something, I don't know. But uh, So, they really dug down. I'm getting down here now, and... Getting my ass kicked just to show you guys the great texture work because I am quite impressed with it. Uh, and in some games, games it's not as important, but in a game like this where you want to get that retro feeling and that's a selling point, they sell it well. Um, now, again, there's three battery icons, and I apologize, guys, my head is probably blocking them, but look, man, you, look, you do what you can. You know what I'm saying, guys? You do what you can. So there's a shockwave here. So we're going to put down another shockwave somewhere. Um, the army men are a royal terror. I'm not going to lie. So I think we're going to put a shockwave down over here. And now we're going to upgrade this shockwave. It's going to be my strategery. Um, and I'm not going to lie to you. There's no good way to put it. Now, like I said, you're going to notice some things that seem slightly wonky here and there. But again, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just is what it is. Um, you'll see some armor off this brain thing here. Not, not the best. Not the best to have that like that. So anyways, uh, but you know, early access titles. You always got to do a little polish. Now, I may very well die here. Get my get my rear end kicked. The army men are tough, Defend man. The core. But again, I'm one person playing this. You can see, you'll be able to see for sure the amount of work that went into this. You already see that. These little shits are tough. These are not like the other guys. Let me tell you why. Because that's why they're up there too. They're all over the place. They're in my bunker. I don't even got a bunker. They're still trying to get in it. Um, the animations are fantastic. I don't know 
whose job it was to make the army men look like army men, but the shininess of the toys, the plastic, everything looks great. It feels epic, certainly. Um, that Jeep is a pain, by the way. I just want to point that out. If you guys think the Jeep is a joke, any more jokes. The dogs are, of course, going nuts behind me. In the first let's play, I got to do an agent in the dog chart. The dogs are acting up, of course. As they, as they do. Um, you guys haven't even got to see the bigger dog yet, and I tried to get her on camera quite a few times, so, oh god. I better run, getting my butt kicked too. I need to heal! Come and heal me, thank you. Oh god, did you hear that, guys? So that there, you can see up there is this thing. I'm trying to kill the friggin' thing, but it is not, uh, it's not going well. Would you dogs knock it off, please? Jeez, oh, Pete, this thing is a brute. Alright. So, yeah, it's done so much damage to me that right now I'm still being healed at the same time. And there's my, uh, turret. My anti you set up a vestige. There you are. Three enemies remaining. There's an enemy man there. Bada bada boom. Bada bada boom. Yahtzee. And, uh, where's my last? Where's my last one? Where's the last guy? I don't know. Sneaky little beaky. I'll find him. I'll find him. Um, although I'm not gonna lie to you guys, these things are a pain to kill. There it is. <sighs> Got it. Look at that. Dear diary, you're welcome. Nailed it. All right. So I ran out of battery there. Um. Now I'll tell you another sneaky thing, dear man. I think they probably. Oh Jesus. Hey, we got another person. Cool. Cool, cool. So we had a drop in, guys. We had to, got a drop in. So now we're going to do this. We're going to get this going on. And now we got another person playing. Just like that. So, oh, two drop ins. Two drop ins. So we got dudes playing. Already. Hello, gentlemen. Alright, so they're doing some stuff too now, building some stuff. I don't know exactly what they're building. They're indeed building some stuff. Uh, now, I don't know if we share a building pool, but... Let's hope they're not like... Oh, we didn't want to be in a let's play and then leave, because uh, I could certainly use the help right now. But this is going to be exciting, guys, because I have not done one of these before. This is an early access. Uh, I actually just got this one not long ago, so... Alright, let's see what we can do here, fellas. This is certainly a lot easier with the three of us, if you guys can see. That's pretty cool to have all these guys uh, in this now, too. Check this out, people. We got a full, uh, three plastic soldiers going at once here, guys. Three at once. Now, again, uh, as they said before, the player base is a little small right now, but the more of you that check this awesome game out, the bigger it'll get. Frankly, I plan to get, uh, the other members of our Let's Play team, even behind the scenes, a copy of this, and try to get... Uh, more people going too, because frankly, this game is a lot of fun, man. It is insane amounts of fun. Um, very easy to pick up and play. It took me minutes to learn. The battery was the only thing I was mystified about at first. I'm not gonna lie to you, but uh, as I learned that, it was pretty, pretty good, man. I was not, uh, I was not uh, complaining at all, really. So, here's my thought. I'm gonna put one of these shockwaves here, and then we're gonna go ahead and upgrade. I can't upgrade our air turret. Uh, the bunker I can't upgrade either. 
We can, however, upgrade one of these. I don't know what he's put here. Can I upgrade that? Nope. But we're gonna help him out as well by putting another turret there. So now, let's do this. So they're building as well. So I don't know what they're building each. But we've done some good stuff here. Let me grab a battery and see if we can get it. So, oh god, I can't. Right. Get ready. Defend the core. So yeah, as you guys can see, having three of these things is amazing. Now they've just ruined some of our defenses here, but we're three players instead of just one now, so that itself is very advantageous to us. Um, so we have a much better chance of getting this done now than we get. As you can see, they really start throwing some heavy enemies at you. Um, and I think alone, there's no way I'd be making it this far right now. No way. So this game does its best work as a multiplayer. Um, not a single player. But, for what it is, it's a lot of fun. You know? A whole lot of fun. And uh, I feel like it is one of those that you really can't underestimate the, the awesomeness of. I think that dude is trying to use his mic. I don't know what happened there. Holy chapter. Oh no, that's what that is. Okay. I did not know. That's pretty neat. I don't know what we're going to be dealing with here, but I think there should be fun. No watch, it's gonna be the damn armor. No, it's not our watch. These guys aren't so bad. The majority of the army men are pretty are, are pain in the ear. Now that there is me reloading, by the way, that bar. Um, but yeah, man, with three of these, this is really cooking now. This is actually a lot of fun. Um, I was hoping we get some droplets when I was doing this, so that's pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, there's some cool things going on here. Oh my god, look at all these centipedes. Uh, now again, this... To me, it reminds me a lot of the old Army Man game and a tower defense game combined. Um, but I was very disappointed in the Army Man series. And I, I don't know if I'm the only one. I felt like the games had more potential. I feel like with these, they're hitting that potential. This game is nothing but potential on top of potential. You know what I mean? There's a lot going on here. And I feel like it's only going to get better as they put out more. The next update has a new ammo type. A uh, new enemy, uh, some streamlined bug fixes, some improvements there. So I I'm looking forward to it. Uh, this company, by the way, has also put out a game that we did a three-parter on, uh, which was the Retro Arcade, and they uh, 
did an awesome job with that as well. I've been very pleased so far with this company's work. Um, and as somebody who doesn't get unlimited resources and has actual bills, let me tell you, I'm pretty choosy about what I spend my money on. And to know that they've done such a good job on it is amazing. Um, and they really have. They've done an incredible job on it. So... But you guys can see how easily you can get into this game. It does not take much at all, really. I'm quite impressed with the work everybody has done together here. Uh, I think it's great. I think this is probably one of the most fun sessions I've had in this. Uh, so far we're on wave 7, which uh, is not easy, because I'm pretty sure the next wave of army men are pretty damn tough, so... Get ready. Defend the core. Oh, not there yet. Jesus H, look at that. Upgraded. Oh no, that's him, man. <laughs> that gun is brutal. That is a laser uh, uh, pistol, uh, or laser gun. I had one, um... As my secondary. I'm probably gonna turn it back if you're seeing him in action with that sucker, because it's a support gun, that's a great gun to remain. What I like is it's as easy to switch your guns as moving the mouse wheel up and down. Jesus H. That guy's a brute. Now I keep grabbing those packages. I don't know if they are two, I imagine they are. That didn't sound good to you guys. I keep grabbing those packages. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, uh, yeah, so you guys get to see this game in its full glory. Now, these dudes are apparently trying to attack our defenses as well, so we don't want that. Because not only can they try and attack your main stuff, but these things are basically like a bouncing landmine of doom. You do not want that to happen. So I'm trying to be on the front lines here, killing all these things. And it's just not, it's not helping a lot. Because right now they're just starting to get back here, so let's cut some of them off. Sweet. So we're slowly upgrading things, making them better. Uh, I'm gonna follow their lead and let them do what they gotta do. Alright. And then I am going to double check on our battery life. I think we're... Eh, we're not bad. Not bad. We're not the best. We're not bad either. So, let me just go ahead here. Get the batteries in for us. So these guys are, uh... Helping me out with this. Now, a great one, I think. I haven't done it, but I sort of looked around all the maps. Is this one that is like an attic? That one looks like that would be a great job. Oh, has he got that up there? Is that right? He is. Good job, bro. So I'm gonna drop one around here, just so we got it. And my end thinks I'm good. See if they're good. And a Pamela compliment. Keep the morale going strong here, guys. Well, probably with a cheesy compliment, but I don't care. Um, but yeah, look at even the plastic texturing here. You know what I mean? It's all oh, shit. Now this I've been dreading, guys. These guys kicked my ass last time, the army men. Uh, the blue ones did. So we're going to hope we can do alright with them because they are brutal. Very relentless. Not easy to kill at all. Um, the army men's strength seems to be that they are unpredictable as hell. They drop down from everywhere. No place is safe. 
and they are very well organized, as army men should be. Um, they live up to their name, you know, they, they are who they say they are, they are army men. So what we are doing now here is trying... Oh, Spunk. Spunk. So we got owned. Let's see if these guys stick around for the next round. We're gonna, we're gonna do another here, guys. So we're gonna do another different store. Alright. Uh, where are they? Are they here with me? Are they not here with me? I think they left. Did they leave? They left. You guys, why did you leave? Come back. Because I'm totally gonna get massacred. Okay, they're there, they're there. Sweet! There's one of them, at least. So I'm gonna get this one up here. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, these other ones are... What happened? We lost. Now see, this is proof that the, those things are supposed to be bog ones because of the names. Although I'm not gonna lie, Torque is funny. Um. So yeah. And yours truly is having a hard time getting up here because I'm dopey about it and forgot that I'd jump up here. Ah, what else am I missing? Why am I not able to get this one? Okay. Guys. We get a game better now. At least get a. Oh God, what am I doing? Let's get a better in here. Right, that dude got that one. Cool. So we're doing the batteries. What? How would you. How would you remove a battery? I don't know. Okay. Seems to have my last side. Then I'm gonna take this side. Let's hope everybody can pull their weight and do their part. So far, so good. I feel like we have a good strategy. Now he's down there alone with that. And I think that's it. I think he's got him. Nice. So first time out. Not too shabby at all, man. Not too shabby at all. Let's put a little. Where is our actual thing, right? Let's put a little healing turret uh, somewhere around here. Yeah, let's do another shockwave right here. Good. Yes. It's a turbine turret. I don't know what the heck is in there. It's gonna say. Need a yellow battery there. Uh, where's blue? There's blue. So let's pick up these batteries. These batteries are okay. So, and you will hear a dog probably bark. I do apologize, guys. Um, so no, I mean this is a, uh, I think a fun game. Okay. What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? Why do I suck at this today so much? I don't know. It's like they can't jump all this a do ba do ba do ba do ba do do. What is going on with my jumping ability here, guys? What the hey hey? Here's a sad thing. That was uh, Jerry's original voice, and I did not like it at all. Um, 
So what's going on with Gary and Bones and Gary, guys? You want to know? I'll tell you what. I don't know. Um, he is going to be in other videos. That much is remaining, I promise you. That is not a joke. There will be a Gary in Bones and Gary still. The thing that has changed, as far as I can tell, for us is just trying to get out a few more LPs. Uh, a segment that we didn't get a lot of feedback and that we want to do another of the story time for grown-ups. Um, I can tell you all now, since you have stuck with this video and watched it, I'll give you all a little reveal that our next uh, story time for grown-ups is Little Red Riding Hood. Taken to a different level entirely. Oh, God, these dogs. So that will be a very, very different one. As far as that goes, I do apologize for all that, um... So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna quit it here. You guys, enjoy your evening. Thanks for watching. If you like this game, pick it up with the link below.